Hi, this is Anthony Gucciardi, and today I want to talk about a study that's been in the mainstream news for about the past 24 hours or so. If you've been following the news, you've likely heard about it or read about it online, and that is an analysis, it's actually not really a study, but an analysis that is claiming that organic food is actually the exact same as conventional food and is not any healthier than conventional food whatsoever. Now, obviously, hearing that, you're likely thinking that it's complete garbage and that's actually true and I want to go ahead and say that the commenters on a lot of the mainstream posts are already pointing out the fallacies of the study and how it's likely funded by Monsanto backed organizations or something similar along those lines but I actually want to go ahead and break down a little bit of the study because even in their own specifications in regards to antibiotics and pesticides which they look at in a real limited scope it just really doesn't make much sense and the mainstream media is notorious for taking a study that doesn't really say that necessarily and just using a sensationalistic headline to go ahead and create a lot of controversy and ultimately spawn these videos but let's talk a moment for when when the mainstream media goes ahead and titles something such as organic food no different than conventional food which they have done similar things in the past what happens is the average person really doesn't, number one, have a deep understanding of what makes food healthy, as we've talked about in the past. And that is, conventional food will contain GMOs, aspartame, trans fats, and it's more likely to contain BPA, which has been linked to uh, breast cancer in 130 studies alone. It will have additives, fillers, high fructose corn syrup, which contains mercury, so on and so on. But they don't look at anything like that. The average person doesn't know that. So the mainstream media will say, oh, well, we found some degree of pesticides in both, and they were below the legal limit. So it's perfectly safe, and there's no difference whatsoever, which, of course, is untrue, to put it nicely. So what we're really looking at here is a title that just people will glance at, and they'll say, wow, organic food is not different than conventional and they'll tell their friends or they'll say oh I heard about that one time or when they're when they're at the market they'll see organic versus regular and they'll say hmm I, re I remember reading in a study they're exactly the same or they'll say well I'm really stupid for buying organic or whatever because most people don't do their their homework and investigate thankfully there are people who do that and as I said there, there's some great comments on the mainstream media articles that'll uh, discuss a little bit about what we're saying some of them don't go into the depth of what we're about to talk about but the main difference here, so just looking at their study, it comes from Stanford, and it says, eating organic fruits and vegetables can lower exposure to pesticides, including for children, but the amount measured from con conventionally grown produce was within safety limits, the researchers reported. So a few things here. The safety limit for pesticides is a joke. Just as there's a safety limit for mercury, and it's okay to have lead and lipstick and mercury and everything, because it's a below the safety limit. They don't talk about the compounding amount that you're getting in a on a daily basis, and they also don't talk about a million other things, but just on this issue right here. It doesn't talk about what pesticides they're using, what herbicides they're using, what insecticides they're using. A lot of conventionally grown produce is using Roundup, which has been linked to infertility, cancer, DNA damage. Roundup, of course, is made by Monsanto. They also don't talk about the fact that many of these pesticides are biopesticides, which are genetically modified into the genetically modified crops, which have been linked to mutant insects, mutant super weeds, cancer, and everything like that. So they don't even talk about that. They just say that the amount of pesticides, not what, time, what kind at all, are not above the legal limit, so therefore it must be safe. Absolutely untrue. Then they go on to talk about antibiotics. And then say, oh, well, you know, organic food actually did have a severe difference in antibiotic-resistant germs. She sa it says here, her team did find a notable difference with antibiotic-resistant germs, a public health concern because they are harder to treat if they cause food poisoning. That's pretty funny. Antibiotic-resistant bacteria is actually causing super tuberculosis and everything like that that cannot be treated by antibiotics. That's why they're resistant. They're going beyond antibiotics. They're developing these super hardcore drugs with side effects such as death to fight these super bugs that aren't effective at all. We've outlined some alternative treatments such as oregano oil and everything like that. But the fact of the matter is that 
to say, oh yeah, they also didn't have antibiotic resistant mutant bacteria. Seems like somewhat of a concern right there. Then they go on to say basically that, yeah, you know, one third of conventional foods contain this bacteria and super, super low percent, about 4% or so, 7% of organic food um, had something slightly similar. They don't, again, they don't speak about it. And then all on the mainstream news, they don't link to the study. Took me about 45 minutes to even find what they were talking about because they, they have a, a bit.ly link which is a custom link set up to link to the study and you know any reputable publication will link to the study they don't even link to the study they link to the online journal that has it somewhere within its archives and then you go to the online journal and they have a uh, pop-ups for antidepressant medication and you're in there looking for it and it, you just can't even believe what you're reading but then you finally read the study and they don't talk about genetically modified organisms they don't talk about high fructose corn syrup containing mercury, which in case you're unfamiliar, we're talking about conventional foods. So conventional foods, processed foods, corn, 96 plus percent genetically modified, soybeans, same thing, somewhere upwards of 96 percent, some are saying 99 percent, 100 percent. It goes on sugar, papayas. They don't even examine that linked in a review of 18 studies to organ damage link to superbugs, super mutant weeds, DNA damage, genetic manipulation, just a barrage of episodes, infant mortality, sterility, everything. And they don't even mention that organic food doesn't have these genetically modified organisms in them and it doesn't have the mercury and the high fructose corn syrup. And in case you're wondering about that, we do have it on our site, but if you don't want to see it on our site and you think that mainstream media is a better source then just go to Google type in high fructose corn syrup mercury or high fructose corn syrup mercury Washington Post and you'll see it in there so this study is essentially saying without actually examining it because they don't really know what they're talking about that eating mercury is the same as not eating mercury eating aspartame which has been found to cause golf ball sized tumors is the same as not eating aspartame and GMOs are basically not even mentioned but it, it, for a moment here. They don't even mention that you're not eating mercury, by the way. They don't even mention that you're not even high fruct eating high fructose corn syrup. They just focus on these antibiotics and pesticides. And they don't even say the pesticides are safe. They've been linked to IQ, lower IQ, dam uh, lower IQ and brain damage. They don't even say that they're safe. They just say that they're below the legal limit, so it's fine. So they're not even saying that organic food is the same. Here's the title. Organic food, not much healthier. Organic, multiple titles. Organic food, same as conventional. Organic food, not, not providing much of a health boost. It absolutely does not make any sense. They don't take any of the real factors into consideration. It's, it's, a, it's an ignorant piece that doesn't even examine the truth about what the word health or healthier means. You're continually bombarding your body with mercury and artificial contaminants when you're eating conventional foods and processed foods, which are just blasted with GMOs now and everything like that. So this study is severely flawed. The mainstream media should issue some type of statement apologizing for even publishing it because it's definitely going to affect the markets to some degree. People who are eating organic right now are, are likely going to read something like this and in the back of their subconscious or whatever, not buy it and, and ultimately endanger the health of their families because of this study. So it's not really just a fluke in the system. And now we're hearing that Stanford University actually just had interns do the study. That's not confirmed yet. But Stanford University should also issue some type of statement uh, discussing the fact that they're completely wrong here. And more information will come out about this. I'm, I'm sure, I'm almost 100% positive that within the coming months it'll come out. They were paid for, uh, they're funded by some type of Monsanto-backed organization. But for now, we can look at this highly flawed study and at least just get the word out that organic food is healthier and you're actually protecting yourself and your family when you choose to eat it.